fight for me, but me. I ain't scared of nobody. Shit, Javante Davis ducked Loma for fucking three oh to four God. years. Um, nobody is defending me but myself, and I'm not afraid of anyone. What do you think about the front row and him? Javante Davis ducked L for three to four years. I'm Dehaney, that with bro Dion Haney, same thing he. Oh God, that's a good battle. Javin Davis is back. Under fire for the same reason that he faced a lackluster opponent, he has drawn criticism for the opponents he chose. Some criticized the American fighter for cherry-picking fights to pad her resume because she was unable to attend the boxing grand openings yesterday. I know that occasionally, like with Canelo, he may not want to go to the arrivals area or answer any of our questions. When he announced a list of fighters on his radar following his victory over Frank Martin a few months ago, we didn't hear any names that seemed similar to Lamont Roach. Instead, we heard the names of Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Vasil Lomachenko, Shocker Stevenson, and Isaac Cruz. Lamont Roach, a fighter who isn't even in the lightweight division, managed to get himself added to the list and even set himself up as Devin Davis's next opponent is still unknown. Despite all of that, I'm excited to be a part of Davis 29. There have been rumors of Davis 29's upcoming fight where he plans to face super featherweight champion Lamont Roach. This will be Roach's first attempt to compete for the title at 135 because the World Boxing Association granted Roach a special sanction to fight at 30. Roach has been targeting Devin Haney and other competitors for his matchup decisions. The Dream even responded to Davis's most recent declaration with an emoji that looked like laughter. Intriguingly, Edwin De Los Santos, whom Davis's team had targeted, was also discussed in relation to everything that's happening today at the MGM, if you understand what I mean. In a conversation with M City Boxing, Humberto Boncourt acknowledged that they were contacted by Davis's team and that they even began training for the fight after such a lucrative offer, but eventually Rook took that opportunity for himself. When asked about the matchup, the coach said, Hey, I ain't knocking on him, it's a cool fight. Going up to 135 pounds, why would you fight someone who is a natural 135 pounder? When Du Santos and Roach are paired together, the boy would win easily. We have more work to accomplish, folks. Dallas, you have a baitin' in Dallas. The fact that Roach is the current champion at 100 pounds doesn't change, notwithstanding the court's observation that it is harder to defeat a natural 135 pound boxer than someone who will gain weight for the match. 130, who is well known for his explosive force and ability to draw large crowds, is currently riding a six-fight winning streak and has only lost once in his 27-fight career. The 29-year-old Baltimore native has an incredible record of 30 wins. I believe that he is a tougher puncher than Tank, which makes him one of the best boxers in the sport. I know that the fans will find this news fascinating usually allowing his opponent to win the first few rounds of a fight before landing a devastating knockout blow, Davis has a different strategy. He presently holds the World Boxing Association's lightweight world championship. Many opponents are willing to share the ring with Davis since he is one of the most marketable players in the sport. Two-division champion Teofimo Lopez, who recently declared himself prepared for a fight later this year, is one of the fighters we're seeking for a battle right around the end of 2025. You heard it from the man himself. Recently, during an interview with Fight Hype, the main problem that they have is that they don't believe in themselves. How many times did they say that Tank Davis wasn't ready for LMA and that they had to prepare him? Lopez questioned Davis's confidence in taking on elite opponents. He emphasized the long-standing perception that Davis has been closely supervised by his management. Davis specifically mentioned his prior resistance to facing Vasily Lomachenko. For the Jarrett Tank, how many times did Mayweather have to speak? Davis, I'm simply talking about the facts, so in the end, when it comes to it, it's a different tale, and nobody is fighting for me, I'm not afraid of anyone. In addition, Lopez recounted a previous sparring session he had with Davis 11 years prior, when Davis was already a professional fighter at the age of 18 and Lopez was only 15. Aside from what he described as Davis's aggressive ring strategies, Lopez acknowledged that not much could be learned from the experience. Although Lopez does not downplay Davis's abilities, he acknowledges that Davis is a tough opponent. In a previous interview with Fight Sports, Davis stated that he believes he is the only person capable of defeating him in three to four years. 
on the other hand, said that he didn't want to fight L and that he only calls out people on social media. Despite this, Davis never backs down. I suppose the only person who can truly defeat Tank is me. It was shocking when Devin Davis announced his new 67 fight PBC deal, indicating his intention to fight the biggest names. Although Lopez has not stated a specific fight date, he has indicated at another potential weight increase, Davis is supposed to make a comeback to the ring in December in Washington, possibly facing Lamont Roach, the super featherweight champion. Davis stated Vasily Lomachenko was next after the Ukrainian's triumph over George Kambosos Jr. to win the IBF lightweight title. Tank also earmarked Shocker as a future opponent. The one victory Davis has had thus far comes from stopping Ryan Garcia in the seventh round last year. After that, he has been avoiding the spotlight. I truly am a fighter that much is true, man. The truth hurts a lot of people, but they have to learn how to accept that. Shaker Stevenson and Devin Davis are currently competing in one of the sport's most talented divisions, and both men are surrounded at the top by two other champions, Vasyl Lomachenko and Denis Baranchek, who joined them there after Stevenson defeated Frank Martin Tank via knockout. Davis and Lomachenko had discussions, but the Ukrainian later withdrew, citing a lack of desire to compete in 2024. This caused many in the sport to label Davis's withdrawal as a fluke. But others noted that the same thing had happened in the opposite situation years prior, saying, man, look man, your quarrel is not with Floyd Mayweather, rather, it is with a fighter who has been calling your name. Daz asked the boxer if he thought Davis ducked Lomachenko during their 2017 super featherweight match. Shocker was unequivocal in his statement, yes, I do. Speaking to Says TV, Stevenson earlier accused Tank of sidestepping a confrontation with him, the World Boxing Association champion, Devin Davis, was criticized by Stevenson for the fight against Lamont Roach. According to Stevenson, Davis picks opponents with the least amount of risk possible, which is why he is fighting Lamont Roach. Of course, Davis will refute all of the above and point to the fact that he actively tried to secure the unification of Lomachenko this year, even though the Ukrainian has generally been accepted to have passed his fighting prime at 36 years old despite his layoff. Now that he has confirmed it is not retirement. Thus, theoretically, all three champions' matches might still be made. There are many well known names in the lightweight and ultra lightweight divisions, such as Vasil Lomachenko, Devin Haney, fans of Ryan Garcia, and Teofimo Lopez are hopeful that their matchmaking skills will be able to match the talent in 2025. However, there is only one fight that is truly a B, so please keep my viewpoint to myself because we are discussing skill in boxing but this was before his battle with Frank Martin Shocker. Stevenson second guessed his choice to challenge Martin. Shocker was about to square off against Martin when his opponent withdrew. Stevenson defeated Edwin Dio Santos, despite putting on a lackluster showing. Shocker believed that if Davis was serious about competing against the best, he should have faced off against De Los Santos. All around boxing, he said, because he's not fighting someone who just got a good jab or what you talking about, like all around do, everything. Tank takes the least risk, Shocker said. If Tank were this risky guy that he claims to be, he would have fought Edwin Dio Santos. Why not fight the guy that actually fought me instead of the one who pulled out of the fight? Frank Martin, if you're truly that into this person, it doesn't even make sense. Dio Santos is a huge 355-pound fighter with boxing prowess and power. If you defeat him, you win, so why not give it to him? Stevenson stated,